You are more than you know that you are. Do you know that? Well, if you knew that, then that sentence would make no sense. <laughs> you are more than you know that you are. There's no right answer to that. But we want you to know who you are. You are vibrational beings. Do you know that? Yes. Coming to know it. Is that a satisfying concept? Satisfying reality? Hmm. Do you know that your vibrational beingness equals your point of attraction? Because you live in a vibrational universe, a universe that is responding to your vibrational output. So what you're putting out is what you're getting back. Law of attraction is certain about that. So are you comfortable in understanding that? Are you comfortable even when you have no control of your output? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> We're just playing with you a little bit about that, but that's really the point of our conversations in these gatherings, isn't it? To help you to, first of all, realize that you are a vibrational being. And next, understand how it is that you offer your vibration, what causes it. And most important, really, what we talk about all day, every day, is how you can gain deliberate control of the vibration that you are emitting. Because the vibration that you are emitting is what law of attraction is responding to. So it's easy to understand what the vibration is that you're emitting because what's coming back to you always matches it. Always. So you're getting what you're putting out, period. There are no other circumstances or conditions or factors that are involved. But it doesn't feel that way to you often because what you're getting back sometimes isn't what you want to get back. So it's not pleasant for you to hear some smart aleck like us say, you create your own reality. If the reality that you're creating isn't pleasing, it just doesn't seem right. I would not have done this to myself. I'm certain there must be other factors. But the only factor involved, if that's what's happening, is that you're not understanding your output. You still haven't figured out how to measure it until it comes back. And then um, you'd rather assign other things to it. It was chance or it was luck, or it was just a circumstance, a happenstance. Someone else did it to me. There were factors that were not in my control. And the reason that sometimes you think that there are factors not in your control is because you have allowed the momentum of your own output to be such that you are attracting unwanted factors, or sometimes wanted factors. You're attracting all of the factors. But sometimes the reason that you don't really accept easily that you are the reason that what's coming to you is coming to you is because the momentum of it has become such that you really can't make the relationship between what you're getting and what you're wanting or even what you're getting and what you're thinking. Sometimes friends will say to us, physical friends will say to us, Abraham, it feels to me as if my thoughts are thinking me. I feel like an innocent bystander here. Things are just happening to me that I'm observing. And we think that's a really good place to start in this discussion because most humans that we know, and we know all of them, <laughs> most humans are offering their vibration in response to what they are observing. So it's a sort of perpetuation of what is that's going on. Perpetuation of wanted and unwanted. But when you begin gaining true creative control of your own point of attraction, then you begin to understand that you can control not only your objects of attention in time, not immediately. You can't start doing it today on every subject because there is a vibrational momentum going on subjects that is carrying you. And that's what makes you feel like you're not in control. But once you come to realize that the law of attraction is consistent and that you are the one who is offering the vibration that law of attraction is responding to and you begin trying some deliberate creation, thinking on purpose and acknowledging that you are and noting 
the only thing that will give you true information about what it is you are emitting, noting the way you feel. Coming to understand that how you feel is a match to what you're emitting, and it's also a match to what's coming back. Once these things start falling into place for you, then you become easily the deliberate creator of your own experience. We like to remind you that you were, you were before you are. You were vibrational beingness before you came to this body. But the word were isn't the right word because while you were it, you still are it even though you are this. In other words, the non-physical part of you certainly existed before that personality that is you was born into this time-space reality. But that non-physical part of you still exists even though you are here. And the reason that we talk to you like that about it is because sometimes you affect a seeming unnecessary separation between that you and this you. And your emotions are all about that. That non-physical part of you who existed before you came into this body is now the furthest, most expanded vibrational part of you because as you sift through life and know what you don't want and therefore identify sometimes more vividly than others what you do want, you em emanate a vibration that the larger part of you receives and becomes. So every time you ask for an improvement of any kind, the non-physical part of you becomes that improvement. You like that? Becomes that improvement. Now, the question that this gathering is really all about is when that broader part of you becomes the improvement, are you becoming it too? And the answer to that question is usually no, not right at the beginning because you launched the rocket out of contrast and you're usually a vibrational match to the status quo. You're usually a vibrational match to what you've been observing, which is what caused you to launch the rocket. But it takes focus to become a match to what you want. In other words, when you are in a situation where more money would be beneficial to you and you're feeling the discomfort of not having enough money, you're launching a rocket that is requesting more money. And the vibrational part of you becomes more prosperous, becomes a further vibrational match to the attraction of that abundance. But you usually don't immediately, in the request for more money, immediately begin to feel the prosperity that you've asked for. Because it often is the not enoughness of money that has caused you to focus on that to begin with and that's the vibration that you've got going on and it is usually the vibration that you continue to perpetuate because your physical reality that is being translated so clearly through your physical senses is so vivid to you you're seeing it and hearing it and smelling it and tasting it and touching it it's reality that has your attention and we want to help you to give a little more of your attention to the reality that's in the making in terms of manifestation rather than the reality that has already come into manifestation so we're talking about momentum because anything that is vibrationally active within you for a while gains momentum and the more momentum it gains the more reality you begin to observe around it you see so we are talking all day here today in vibrational terms we're going to be talking to you about the way you can discern most accurately your vibrational frequencies we're going to be talking to you about how you can discern your vibrational frequencies and then do something about it but everything that we're going to be talking to you about today with you about today is that you are vibrational beings you have a point of attraction you have more ability to have control of your point of attraction than you've been exercising. We're going to demonstrate how relatively easy it is to gain control of your point of attraction. And then the real fun is going to be in the days that follow as a result of the resetting of your vibrational set point. That will happen here today. You're not going to be able to withstand the knowledge that we have about you. <laughs> We know so clearly who you are and why you're here. And as you listen to us, even scantily, because we're persistent. <laughs> as you listen to us, 
your vibration is going to move upward into the vicinity of who you are so we're going to tell you a brief story if you've been listening to us for a while you've heard it until you could tell it as well as we but we're going to tell it to you anyway because it's the basis of everything that's coming next your vibration the larger part of you is pure vibration meaning no resistance that is discernible by you you're here in this physical body as an extension of that and as you explore you are vibrationally expanding always that vibrational expansion is the reason for the emotions that you feel that's a new statement we've never made before your vibrational expansion is the reason for every emotion that you feel when you feel elation it means you're hot on the heels of your own expansion when you feel frustration you're lagging behind when you feel depression you're way behind when you feel anger you're way behind when you feel love you're right up to speed so the emotion that you feel is your indicator of your relationship with the further most expanded part of you humans want to call that part of you God we don't like that word very much because you've misused it so much you don't even know what it means we refer to that non-physical part of you as your inner being but it's the vibrational part of you who expands constantly who evolves constantly as a result of all that you're participating in so that expansion is key to how you feel because you can't stop the expansion life just keeps calling it from you if someone's rude to you you expand into an idea of a nicer world if you don't feel good you expand into the idea of feeling better if you feel disturbed about something you expand into more clarity about that idea we just want to show you how you can keep up with your expansion and therefore close that vibrational gap between you and you and therefore feel good most or all of the time and therefore fulfill your reason for being and therefore get on the track of that which you intended when you decided to come forth into this physical body to begin with and therefore live the life that you intended and therefore return push the reset button to that bright brilliant being that you were when you were first born before you had been convinced by others to begin focusing in ways that sort of put a dimmer on your light switch you see so you create your own reality do you like the idea of that we do you are the point of attraction of your own reality so in order to make you understand this more easily we've been talking to you about this expanded part of you and we're referring to that launching of desires and the law of attraction culmination of all of the desires that you've been launching as your vortex your creative vortex your vortex of creation we've been demonstrating this vortex we've been saying to you wrote a whole book about it in fact just get in the vortex get in the vortex do your best to get up to speed with the vibrational part of you and recently we've been explaining to you that while that vibrational part of you exists that you could be and in fact often are standing with vibrational variants to that vortex to the things you want to who you've really become to all that you are and that vibrational variance is what negative emotion feels like every time so in helping you to close the gap in that vibrational variance we want to now make you aware of where you stand so you see what's going on this is the way we're telling you this story of who you are you were non-physical before you came into this body and now that you're in this body you are in this body and non-physical so there is the potential for a vibrational variance from in this body you expand and that non-physical part of you takes the expansion so now there is the potential of more variance between who you have become and who you are allowing yourself to be and now we want to show you how to close that gap again are you sort of getting this cycle of life that we're talking about so once you accept that you are a vibrational being and that you have expanded and that you want to close the gap now we want to talk about where you stand and so we've been reaching for words to help you sort of kind of understand this point of attraction we say things to you that are annoying in the beginning like all of your power is in your present and only now is what matters 
But we want you to understand that right here, right now, you've got a relationship with who you really are and with all that you've become and every emotion that you feel is about that relationship. So if you're feeling fantastic, you're right up to speed in this moment. In other words, the thoughts you're thinking right now don't contradict who you really are and what you really know. So there is a merging, a blending, an aligning. There is a resonating. There is a you allowing yourself to be you.